When you eat a carnivore high fat diet, that slows gastric emptying even more. And if you're overweight, the chances are you probably have SIBO, you probably have candida or some sort of bacterial overgrowth. In Guaranteed, your not hormonally optimized either. Yeah, you don't have hormones, you don't have thyroid hormones. And so you slow your gastric emptying with a GLP-1, plus you introduce like 200 to 300 grams of fat a day on top of it. It slows down the digestion. Your food gets stuck kind of in your upper digestive tract. And then that SIBO and candida and yeast just festers and feeds on the food in there. And then it makes it worse. And this is why people get such bad like esophageal pain, acid reflux, burning, nausea, gas, all these different things, constipation on a GLP-1. Because they're eating a high fat diet, they don't have starches to help with fiber, to help gastric motility. And on top of that, when people do carnivore, and I'm not going to tell anyone how to live their life. When you do carnivore on a GLP-1, you're missing all the benefits because the GLP-1 is making you more insulin sensitive, meaning that you're getting better at secreting insulin. So if all you ate was sugar, you would actually be much more energetic. And then you would also be more metabolically healthy because all of a sudden now you're actually able to complete a full insulin cycle instead of becoming insulin resistant, even much more so. Someone in our group, I didn't get a chance to comment on the post, but they were talking about gestational diabetes and eating a carnivore diet. And you look at people that are doing long-term carnivore diets, they are becoming diabetic.